Hi friends, this is a tutorial how to uh, form fit your remora holster to your weapon. Now, uh, although I run into this problem rarely, I did have an occasion where I got a call back from a, from a, a buyer that said his gun didn't quite fit into the holster. Now, before we even get started, let's double check that we are, there's no mag, and this weapon is safe, okay? And the decocker is on, hammer is down. So, <clears throat> anyway, when I try to fit this weapon into uh, the holster, it, as you can see here, it kind of jams there, it's kind of tight, and it's not fitting all the way. So, we do want to make some room in this holster for this uh, gun to fit in nice and smooth. Okay. Now, the procedure is take a uh, piece of linen cloth and a handkerchief works well. Okay, open up your handkerchief and you're going to wrap your gun inside that handkerchief. Uh, just like this. Now, you do want to put the excess cloth where you want the excess room. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so we want to put this in and as far in as we can get it. Okay, in the case of this holster, I want to make sure that the, the trigger guard is up against the end as far as it, all the way that it can go in. And that's what we're doing. Got it all the way in, and we got this up as far as it'll go. Okay, so it's really jammed in there pretty good. Okay, in this case, I've taken a standard food grade thermometer, and here you can see it's that room temperature. Oops, uh, and I'm going to put it, slide it in wherever I can. Uh, just so we can gauge the temperature of the holster. Okay, then we're gonna take a standard hair dryer and we're gonna put it on high and we're gonna start heating up the holster. I just want to make sure I got this all the way in while it's still hot. So we're just kind of just pushing it in. The holster is going to be hot to the touch. If you want to wear gloves when you're doing this, that's perfectly uh, okay. Just trying to get this up. Because this was the area we were having the problems in, and this is the area I wanted to stretch. So we were approaching 100 degrees. Okay, seems like my hair dryer would only bring this to about 110 degrees, but that is internal temperature, not the outside. The outside is very hot to the touch. We do want to stretch it a little bit more, make sure it goes over those sights, and then we'll continue on to the next step. Okay, the next step is to put, put it in the freezer, and put, put it right in here for five minutes. Okay, five minutes has elapsed. Let's see what the gun looks like. Temperature has come down to what looks like 80 degrees. 
by the time it's been in the, in the fridge. Here we are. We're going to take our thermometer out. And of course, we saw that that read about 80 degrees. That's what it went down to. And we're going to pull the gun out, take the cloth off, take a look at the holster. And now that gun fits right in. Look at that. Right in, clears the, uh, the sights, fits right in with no pressure whatsoever. That really just molded that, that rubberized container right to that weapon. Fits right in, goes right over. You saw my struggle in the beginning getting that in. So uh, that is the procedure to follow. If you do need to just stretch out your holster just a little bit to accommodate sights or uh, the barrel. Barrel length is fine. The, the uh, trigger guard is right up against the end. Okay, that's it. That's how you, you size a Remora holster to your gun.